Yes, it's that time again. It's time for the game show broadcast nationally and throughout the Asia Pacific region. It's Crazy Crosswords. And now introducing your fabulous host, Steve Jensen. Salam alaikum. Selamat datang. What is? They're all sitting there, bloated from pizzas. Half of them have left. Crazy crosswords. I think we should introduce some sanity to the show right now. Mrs. Hi. Velvet. Hey, yeah, we're feeling good after pizzas hey, oh, and yeah. drinks. Thanks to Osborne's for those drinks, stopping us from dehydrating under the lights. I got my sugar fix. Yes, we feel much better now. Bit of sugar in us. <laughs> I'm just looking at this blank room. There's like three people there going. Come there on here. There's not. Do We've do got the show. ten people there. Is that all the pizza we get? God. It wasn't Crazy worth it. Crazy crosswords. And a big welcome to the studio orchestra. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit I off. You belong know. with us. That's oh. right. We're always a little bit off over here. Letterman does it well, doesn't he? He just goes like that. Oh, well it's that you do. Oh, it's my fault. I'll try that again. Letterman just goes, ha ha ha, blah blah blah. We'll try that again. We'll try that again. Oh. Ha ha ha, bad punchline. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yay! Near enough. Near enough for crazy crosswords. Oh. It's never good enough, but we're never good enough, so sums us up. Talking about good enough, Linda and, and Fiona. Fiona. They're Ooh, back. Good enough to eat, I reckon. How are you guys? Good. <laughs> Let's just, forget, let's just move past that one really quickly. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, our carry over champs, Linda and Fiona. Let's see what they say. Oh, Linda likes men with cute bums. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Linda doesn't like me. <laughs> no, well. Linda's a civil celebrant. Uh -huh. Does that mean you just have parties in a very civilised way? <laughs> no. So, you marry people. Mm -hmm. And bury them. <laughs> How many people have you married? Um, just a few. Well, like more than Zsa Zsa Gabor? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've only been doing it like since the end of last year. Right. Buried a few people and no, named lots of babies. Is it good money in that gig? Yeah. 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 You, you can do divorces as well, couldn't you? Yeah, well, actually, there's a celebrant in Brisbane who does divorce ceremonies. Terrific. What's your most unusual wedding? Um, this, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but this guy rang me and said, I want to marry this girl who is my, um, my cousin. But when it turned out, it was actually his stepsister. And they right. didn't want anybody to know, and he wanted to come into my lounge room. And, and that's why they flew up from Hobart, so no one would know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was Indian. <laughs> he was. Okay, it's a cultural thing. Fiona, and hi, welcome. Fiona, the belly dancer, here with us. Are you a belly dancer? She is. It's but we'll leave that one alone. She doesn't want to demonstrate to you. And on the blue couch, we've got Stephen <laughs> and Teresa. Hi. How are you guys? <laughs> Teresa or Teresa? Teresa. 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 And Teresa. she's not very happy about being here. She didn't want a name tag, she didn't want anyone to know, and if she says that she's her twin sister, she doesn't have a twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> so How about this one it. though? Hobbies. Music, talking on the phone and perving on black guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I could say just take the drum away mate and give her something to look at. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I could say, hey Steve, let's go play a game of crosswords. <laughs> <laughs> you could, but I'm not going to let you get away with it okay. that easily. Uh, <laughs> I think, no, actually what we need to do is have a look at the, uh, the prize beautifully supplied by our, our sponsors, the winning prizes that uh, our winners will be in for tonight. Thanks very much, Steele. Tonight's contestants could receive these fabulous prizes. Go on a magnificent trip to SeaWorld on the fabulous Gold Coast from SeaWorld. And then they're off on a magnificent return cruise up and down the glorious Brisbane River on the historic Miramar. That, of course, comes from Miramar Cruises as they head towards their lunchtime destination, Confusion, Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. That's the koala, that's the kangaroo, and that's Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. And then it's time to go off with Gary on the Harley Davidson from Hardly Detours. And then go and get wet, go and get wild at Wet n Wild Water Park. And head up the road to Movie World, Hollywood, on the fabulous Gold Coast. This prize comes from Warner Brothers Movie World and all of these prizes from Crazy Crossword. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. What's going on there? Teresa's just so envious. <laughs> I'm blushing again. 
I'm getting really good at this. <laughs> what did you do? What are you doing to my... What are you doing, man? She was curious about what we I was bonding. saying with the drama. I told her what I was saying with the drama. She thought, oh, God. And the beat goes on. Right. <laughs> And that's the crosswords a, that's gay begin. slang, isn't it? I think we should play some crosswords right crosswords now. Uh, one across talking about nuts. Here's one, the old Queensland bottle nut, mate. Pistachio. Oh, pistachio off, mate. No, it's not a Queensland nut. It's, uh, it's got a very hard shell. Um, a lot of it grown in Byron Bay. Uh, blue team? Macadamia. Nut. Macadamia it is. <laughs> yep, down around Byron Bay. Danoon, Corndale, lots of macadamias grown. And in between the macadamias, they grow vegetables. It's lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> One down, an experienced and trusted older person that you gain wisdom from, someone who is your guide in life. Mentor. Mentor is absolutely correct, Linda. <laughs> she caught the ball. A big hand for it. Woo! <laughs> and now a little one for the other team. Thank you. Steal! Can I do you a swap? Can we swap things? Okay, broken. what's your battery gone flat in that one, has it? Yep. <laughs> Recharge. Hey, when that happens. Okay. okay. Get rid of that prop. <laughs> oh, just break Sorry, the Linda. set. Sorry, Linda. The set's only made out of cardboard. <laughs> Two down. <laughs> so a lot of beer went into making this set, I tell you. <laughs> Two down. Okay, beautifying agents like lipstick and so forth are generally termed... Cosmetics. Well, cosmetics. <laughs> What's up, Steve? She should have known that one. Well, she spends enough money on it, does yeah, it? Yeah, I reckon. Now you can see why. You can see why Therese is written as worst time of her life. Going anywhere with my dad, he is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And he got you in today, didn't he? What did he promise? Money. <laughs> okay. And a black man. And a black man. No, I promised that. He's already got that. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what I promised, Linda. Um, six across. Six across. Six across. There we are. Six across. Oh, yeah. One of those holes in your face. No, no, oh. Nostrils. Our blue team was in with the buzzer there. Nostrils. Don't shout it out, please. Let me, uh, let me identify you first. You're Steve, aren't you? Yes. I thought I identified you. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Three down. three down. Looks good. Uh, three down. Out of one's mind. Twisted. Insane. Blue team. Oh, no, I was going to say. No. Uh, the gold team. Deranged. Deranged. <laughs> you were going to say Steel Jensen, were you, mate? I was going to say Demented. Demented. All <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Pretty good. The R kind of threw you out there. Yeah. Uh, four down. Four down or the floor manager's giving me a no, little hint here. He's holding up a sign that says this is something that nobody would want. And who could blame them? Tonight's contestants will not receive these fabulous prizes. You're off by magnificent cruise liner to Bob and Barry's Egg and Vegetable Farm. First, let Edna entertain you with her haunting voice before heading on down to the nearby testing laboratory, where your lung capacity and your ability to withstand extreme temperature are needed to defend the farm against communist uprising. You'll also receive this attractive glacier and this stunning herd of camels. This prize proudly brought to you by Bob and Barry and Crazy Crosswords. Grooving along there. Ready for that one? Okay. Four down. Four down. Four down. It's a marv It's marvelous. What a difference this drink makes. Blue team. Milk. <laughs> oh, do da. Milo. Milo. Got to be made of it. <laughs> He's going oh, milk, isn't it? Is it? Milk isn't that the one you can drink one glass of those and sleep with every woman at the dance? <laughs> <laughs> it's marvelous what a difference it makes. Five down. <laughs> <laughs> Five down, if I'm not careful, the police will do this to me. Gold team? Arrest. Arrest, indeed. <laughs> arresting. An arresting pace that we've kind of reached right now. Seven across. Seven across, as it were. Oh, um, blue team. Ode? Ode. No, no, that was a very good guess. Ode, there aren't too many words that, that, that's spelt that way, unless old, if you're cockney, old. No, this is an abbreviation for Order of the British Empire. Blue team. OBE. Absolutely. <laughs> OBE1 Kenobi. Eight across. Right, you are. Eight across, uh, an invited person. Gold team. Guess. Guess. Guessed it right. Ten? Ten will do me. Ten across. Walked up and down at a regular pace. <laughs> Gave it away, didn't it? Gold team? Pace. Pace. <laughs> Take your merry ram nuts, chuck them on the ground, walk on them, that's peanut paste. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, yeah. I'll go home oh, yourself. Um, that's right. <laughs> you no, came in here of your own free will, so don't blame me. And you at home watching. Ha. What can I say about you? Um, nothing, so I won't. Nine down, it is. Um, hello, 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 hello. There you go, <laughs> easy one. Echo. Echo, Echo it is. Echo, which is the first name of an incredibly boring show, which is on another channel at this very moment. Eleven across. Eleven across is uh, an extinct bird. Gold team. Dodo. Dodo. <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> or Homer Simpson with a stammer. Dodo. We've done it, haven't we? We have. We have it? finished the game. Beautiful. <laughs> Astounding, astounding. Well, let's have a look at our word from our sponsors so that we can pay for this lavish, lavish production. <laughs> wow. Well, all right. Ain't caught up here in the music. Boy. All right, that was pretty funky. I just had my first drum lesson. I got this bit. Boom, boom. I should join the Salvation Army, shouldn't I? That was pretty, <laughs> pretty groovy stuff. Steve, I can see you're really getting on the rhythm yeah. there. You're getting really into it. I want to catch up. <laughs> Catching up is what the losers are always thinking of. And we don't know who's going to lose yet because no one's paid me a bribe, so it could be anyone's game. And if it is, the other person will get this. Thanks very much, Steele. Tonight's losing contestants receive these fabulous prizes. You'll take home these premium quality Australian nuts and morsels from Merry Ram. Well done, most natural goodness, quality and freshness. They come to you, compliments of Merry Ram nut distributors. You'll enjoy the latest movie releases at Birch Carol and Coyle Cinemas. They're everywhere. You'll have no trouble finding them. Sweets, treats, and movies at Birch Carol and Coyle Cinemas. All of these prizes courtesy of Crazy Crop. What happened to the audience? Hey. Hey, so they just, wow, they've just got energy back. That's great. Good to see. Okay, we're ready to play. Round two. Let's do it. One across. If you are travelling in disguise, you want no one to recognise you, you are... Gold team. Incognito. You are indeed. <laughs> Incognito. It's the way I go to Ripley Shopping Town. One down. To copy. Blue team. Oh, it's too quick. You're too quick. Too quick for his own brain. The old finger moves faster than the mind. Gold team. Imitate. Imitate. <laughs> Steve doesn't know his own speed. Here we go. Far over cross. Something which is um, absolutely gross, uh, immoral and not decent must be gold team. Indecent. Indecent yes. indeed. <laughs> a bit like the proposal I made just a few moments ago to Linda. <laughs> You wish. I'm thinking of the movie, Indecent Proposal, and I haven't got a million dollars, so and she I said, <laughs> you come up with a million, million bucks, fine, my husband will share it with me. He doesn't mind either, <laughs> if you've got it. You work for Bruce 31, you haven't got two cents to rub together, you <laughs> prawn. Okay, that's, well, she's words to that effect, anyway. Um, <laughs> two down. Two down, looks to me like a uh, fishy one, that one. Uh, gold team? God. God, get me out of here. <laughs> cod almighty. I always think of cod, I think of Kerry Packer. I don't know why. What's the... oh. It's the lips, isn't it? <laughs> Great, that's my Mick Jagger impersonation. Oh dear. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is really gross, isn't it? Um, three down. This is uh, a, a lizard, a funny little lizard. Uh, blue team. Gecko. Gecko. That's it. <sighs> Talking about funny lizards, reptilian objects and other things which crawl through the city. Let's have a look at Vox Pops because these are the real people. Actually, some lovely people we met. Check it out. Vox Pops. Uh, my life's really interesting at the moment. It's just kind of training for the units, is it? No, it's something like that, yeah. So you guys lovers? Oh, I just started actually, yeah, just good, yeah. Good right. Friends yes. and, yeah. right. Oh yeah, what's happening? Um, well, my family life is falling apart completely. And we should wish this, we can introduce any game we want. What about scaffolding? Zaytien. <laughs> Zaytien. Uh, uh. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it just started like at that level, that sort of Harry met Sally and then it went somewhere else kind of thing. My job life is sort of like 
It's really interesting. Yeah, Bruce 31, crazy crosswords, that's us, out that on the is. street, vox okay. popping. Finger on the pulse. As it were, exactly. You've seen it? Yeah, I have. It's uh, Channel 31. Oh, I've never heard of it. It's all about like the premise that, that when a man says he just wants to be friends with a woman, he still actually wants to go to bed with her, but oh, you know, he'll right. he'll put up with friendship and let the fantasy kind of live on. And at some stage, it's got to it's either got to happen or, or, or we don't want to be friends anymore, you know? Like, not as if I've got a good job or anything, like, and just do this and that, you know, like, every now and then. Drug dealer. And you guys have gone past that stage, obviously. It's good, you've consummated your friendship. I like that. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. yeah. Love to talk to you all day. Yeah. I'm sure you've got a deal to make. Yeah. yeah. Box pops. Good fun. <laughs> it's frightening, we but it's good fun. Eight across. Eight across. Uh, this is a um, brand of beer sold in Southeast Asia. Okay, I'll be less esoteric. It's the thing which stops your, stops your boat from sailing away. Gold team. Anchor. Anchor it is. <laughs> They should call it sail, actually, because that beer gives you wind when you drink it. Oh, that's from experience. <laughs> beer bintang, that's the better one. Four uh, down? <laughs> four down. Um, uh, this is a, um, uh, yeah, I know what it means. Um, a, a, a totalizer. It's an abbreviation for a totalizer, or, or to carry a gun is to tote. Tote. Blue team, beautiful. <laughs> Boom. Tote. Which way, boss? Uh, ten across. Okay. Ten across, if you were really psychopathic, you wanted to murder people, uh, but not be arrested or, or charged with murder, you would do what in the army? <laughs> no. Yeah, if you wanted to kill people, right, you wanted to be trained as a killer, but there's no, there's no conscription, you'd have to... Goal team? <laughs> what do you have to do to get into the army? You have to educate, no, no, no. When, when, you, when, you, when you join the army, what's it called? Enroll. 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 Enlist the goal team. Got Who it. got a goal team? Enlist. <laughs> no, you think about it. If you really wanted to kill people and slaughter, you'd join the army, wouldn't you? I mean, it's the only place you can do it where it's actually morally acceptable. We just have trouble keeping up with the way your brain works, that's well, it. Well, is there any other reason to join the army? You know, see the world, meet interesting people, kill them. Um, <laughs> Nine down. Beautiful. <laughs> the thing on top of a helicopter which goes round and round. Um, blue team. Rotor. Rotor. Uh, I think we need to when you're at the hospital last time? Megan. <laughs> Megan. I thought it was a bong. Ugh. Oh, no, no, you better explain it a bit more. No. Explain. I think now we got the point. I think we did. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to put my mouth around that again. No, Ugh. we have something to do. What is it? We have to get do rid of the losers. Look yeah, at get rid prizes. of the losers. Which one do we do first? Which? I think we'll have a look at the prizes <laughs> our winners are in for and then we'll find out who they are. I think it's pretty obvious actually, can you? I do too. Mm. Thanks very much, Steel. Tonight's contestants will receive these fabulous prizes. They're off on a magnificent trip to SeaWorld on the fabulous Gold Coast with Squat the Whale from SeaWorld. Its real name's Mia. And then they're off on a magnificent return cruise up and down the Brisbane River from Miramar Cruises. As they head towards their lunchtime destination, Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. There's a number, that's Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. And of course it's Gary. He's going to take you off on the Harley Davidson from Hardly Tours. It's time to get wet and have a wild time at Wet n Wild Water Park. And then up the road to Movie World Hollywood on the Gold Coast. This prize comes from Warner Brothers Movie World and all of these prizes from Crazy Ross. <laughs> 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 We've been oh, plotting. We have been plotting. We've been plotting. But anyway, hey. <laughs> <laughs> The plot thickens. <laughs> it does. Gold team, uh, heaps and heaps, eh? Mm -hmm. Blue team, not many. Bugger all. Yeah. Well, it looks like. <laughs> Time to leave, guys. Well, Steve, well, Teresa, thank you so much. You. <laughs> Teresa, I, I, I love that jacket around the waist. Look, you look like Lisa Lackey leaving the party. <laughs> Would you hate it when that happens? <laughs> I hate it. Big I'm bird. Glad you understand. <laughs> Very empathetic of you. I'm going to go over here so we can play the final Sensitive round. new age guy. I think about these things. 
<laughs> no, it is the look, isn't it? The jacket around the waist. Hey, guys, the, the Fiona and Linda are going, what, what? Don't worry. If you haven't seen the ad, you're watching the right station. You have seen it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I just keep thinking of Sally Rope, who's a comedian. There's a great line on that. Sorry? Oh, oh, no. Who's going to clean the lounge? This is what you lounge? do to people, oh, Steele. They turn into, just like you. Witnesses, sweet, I didn't say that, that right? I didn't tell her to say that. You just said it. <laughs> Okay, I think um, one across. we could be saved by crosswords, couldn't we? Um, okay, uh, one across. This means uh, quite enough, uh, not too much, not too little. It so means sufficient also. It's uh, another word for sufficient. Uh, let's look for some... Um, uh, so the first a. letter. Yep. Adequate. Oh, Adequate. When a man says, oh, I'm adequate, you know he's exaggerating. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm adequate means small. <laughs> one down. <laughs> Small what? Well, what do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> Shoes on the other foot. <laughs> Love it. Okay, one down. Uh, changed. Um, uh, no, sorry, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. I've read it wrongly. Um, um, uh, warned to give warning uh, to someone. Like there's an earthquake coming. The if people have been alerted. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> alerted. <laughs> Oh dear. Five across. Okie dokie. Um, uh, in chemistry, a formula indicating uh, reaction by use of symbols is called... Equation. Equation, my goodness. <laughs> Just the right girls' schools, obviously. <laughs> oh, they give me a really sneery look, which means I was right, hit the nail on the head, didn't I? <laughs> oh, the old GPS thing shows through, doesn't it? Um, two down. Yeah. Cool down. Men and women should be treated cool. as uh, e equal. as equal or singular. Yeah, okay, near enough. Yeah. Equal. Equal, but not the same. That's the way I look at it. Um, six across, you've got to pay one of these when you cross the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Toll. Toll indeed. Three down. Three down. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I see. Okay, it's it's an it's an it's an, an acronym. An acronym is what it is. It's an abbreviation for upper Rep respiratory tract infection. Upper oh. respiratory tract infection. So this Erty. <laughs> Let's put it in. I mean, like, <laughs> Erty. Erty. Got an Erty. Hang on, isn't the game over? No, we've got 30 yes. seconds. No, we've got yes. 30 seconds. They're all saying <laughs> yes. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, well, it's Time Linda out. and Fiona's fault. It's Linda and Fiona's fault for not having bonded with me sufficiently at the beginning of the show. <laughs> No, it's okay. I'm just one of those guys who doesn't mind finishing before the contestants. He's just one of those guys with no morals. Absolutely. That's why we're here. Morals. We've got no money, no morals. Well, I have morals. You do. But you borrowed them from someone else, didn't I you? I did. Yeah. Just for today. Mm. <laughs> After the night. I think it's... Come over. I think it's that time oh. of night again. That time of night. Say goodnight. In Spanish. Time of night when we just sort of end with a whimper. End with some bonding. Yeah. See you later, guys. Well, that girl was only 13, night, night, everyone. Oh, she's terrible. Oh. 13. Oh. Oh. Like this oh. Oh. It's disgusting, isn't it? It's disgusting, isn't it? And I do. Crosswords. Good crosswords. This is the dome. <laughs> That's the dome. <laughs> this is the thing. This is what happens to these white girls when they start getting them home. Dome. Dome, ting, and dome. Oh, okay. Like that? Yes, it's dome. And then ting. Ting. And that's down. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Tongue. Dome, ting, down. Okay. Oh, yummy food by rabbits. A drinks from Ob's Bourne Bull Bull Bull. Another guy from Spots. Thing. See us close from my cabin. Dry cleaning by Blue Line Dry Cleaning. Audio City from Aloha Party Ha. Computer graphics from Mac Animations. Audio with lighting from IJS. Yes, Contact on lighting. Props and costumes from the Costume Cabinet. Uh, audience giveaways from Born at Home Video. Uh, cast and crew to supply black box airlines. It's a third of stay at base motels right around Australia. This has been an Australian television production production. Prince of the One Network, Eric Brackett. 
Thanks to Western Computer. This program proudly brought to you by Rebbits, Mary Ram, and and Eloise, the family music star. Okay, here we go. Oh, how much hand do I use? That much? How much hand? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't. Hey, you guys. Don't. You want to go out for a drink? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Excellent. Hey, two's company, three's a crowd, Jonathan. Oh, we can bring Megan, can't we? No, she's the company, you're the crowd. <laughs> See you, Jonathan. See you. They come to this country, take our jobs, take our women. <laughs> Yeah.